Let's take a look at this problem. We got log 7x minus 1 equals log x plus 2 plus log 5. Now notice everything has a log on it. This is where we use our shortcut. We want to use properties of logs to get a single log on both sides. Well, left side already has a single log, but the right side doesn't. So that stays log 7x minus 1. Over on the right side, we have log of something plus log of something. Now addition becomes multiplication. So we're going to have log of 5 times x plus 2. So we got log 7x minus 1 equals log 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 2 is 10, using the distributive property. And now we got a single log on both sides. So it says to drop the LOG part, and so we'll have 7x minus 1 is equal to 5x plus 10. And then we solve it like normal, whatever that means. This is a linear equation, so we'll go through those steps. First step, your parentheses don't have any. Second step, your fractions don't have any. Third step, get everything with x on one side and numbers on the other. So I'll take 5x to the left side and the negative 1 to the right. Take anything cross or equals your sign changes. So the 5x becomes a negative 5x. The negative 1 becomes a positive 1. Combine together like terms. 7x minus 5x is 2x. 10 plus 1 is 11. Last step, divide both sides by a number in front of your x, which in this case is 2. And those twos cancel. And we got x is equal to 11 halves. You might find it easier to have it in decimal form. That's 5.5 when checking your answers. Uh, if I put 5.5 up here, 7 times 5.5 is, I don't know, 35 something, 36 or 7. Who knows exactly? But I don't know what it is, exact, is exactly, but minus 1, it's still positive. So it's not equal to 0. It's not equal to negative number. 5.5 plus 2 is 7.5. That's not 0 and it's not negative, so that's our answer. Remember, you have to check your answers and make sure that the, what you came up with does not cause you to have log of a negative number or log of 0.